Hi, this is Kevin and I'm out on another walk, shall we say. But we are, Cynthia's here. Hello, Hello Cynthia. There. Hello. We are out at Arden Lye Reservoir, which is there. So we are going to be doing, we think, about a four mile walk. Uh, it's absolutely boiling hot. Hats are on, sunglasses are on, sun cream is on. So we're well protected. So we will set off. We've got we're going in search of a viaduct. The the Ooze Valley Ooze, Ooze and Balkan Valley Viaduct, I think it's called. Balkan so, Ooze Valley Dark Viaduct. Say that again. The Balkan Ooze Valley Dark Viaduct. There we go. That's that's the one we're going to look for. So we'll um <clears throat> we'll catch you later. We've already left the reservoir, but we've come up through this field where we've got all these cattle chomping away in a fallen oak tree. Not sure that's a good idea, cattle eating oak, um, acorns. But we've come up to find this as part of our walk, and this is the Arding Live Viaduct. I got it right because my mind went blank just now on the first bit of the video, and I couldn't remember what it was. But there we go, that's good timing, a train on the viaduct. That's brilliant. But I'm just using my new Samsung 10 uh, phone for videoing today. Uh, my old phone, which I was going to use, my S, the S8. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get any Wi-Fi for that to work. On my, to, so I could use it on my um, gimbal. So I'm just trying this held handheld, which I've done in the past. But if it's a little bit shaky, I do apologise. Well, we've come up off the main road now and we've come into this field of sweet corn and just up there is the viaduct which I'm heading towards now that's that down there is the main track through but we're heading up this way Cynthia's gone ahead to try and get some still photographs We had a quick look just a minute ago when we came up here to uh, just to check out what was going on up here. And there were some people about, probably still is. There was one gentleman taking photographs, but there was two others looking at the signs. They've disappeared by the looks of it. No, they're down there. But there are. And this is what you get to see. Viaduct disappearing away into the distance, but those people are standing right in the way of a shot I want to show you through the arches of the viaduct, and it's absolutely it's incredible. It really is incredible. So I'm just trying to get around this. It's quite wet underneath the arch that we. Going, we're following a footpath, but this is the shot I wanted to show you. Just a way through there. It's absolutely incredible. Each individual arch following the lie of the land all the way through, and it rises up away in the distance there. But obviously, at the lower point, it's much. I don't know what the height is between each arch, but um, I think the people just realised that I'm videoing, so. But it's spectacular, absolutely incredible. I've got no idea when it was built. There is a plaque over there we've got some photographs of. And hopefully we'll be able to give you some more information. We've made our way back down to Arding Rye reservoir the actual viaduct we saw earlier on was Balkum the Ooze and Balkum viaducts I think it was called but as, way, as I say we're just heading, ending our walk for today we've just been sitting down having a, a snack before we head back to the car people enjoying themselves out on this beautiful day it's been absolutely boiling hot I'm guessing the temperatures must have been hitting the low 30s. So I'm just going to try 
and slide. Oh, excuse. Oh, that's a big shake on the camera on the video. But that's our view that we've got here where we've just been having our break, as I say. And we've got paddle boarders, we've got canoeists, we've got people out in their little dinghies, and we've got um, canoes just down to our right hand side. And away down that way in the far distance, the big building on the horizon that's um, Ardingly College. Ardingly College, thank you, Cynthia. Well, we're back. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've had a hat on and Cindy's had a hat on, the sweat has been pouring, certainly down my head. It was hot, wasn't it? It was very hot. It was hot. Um, and to be honest, we're knackered. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the reservoir, the yeah, the reservoir, the reservoir behind us, as you can see, a little drop of water there. But a car park is down in front of us. The car has been in full sunlight all day long so i think the air conditioning is going to be going straight on but it's been a lovely walk really we found the viaduct which was great and the, i've got a, a little video which i hope you're going to be able to see what we saw through the arches that uh, went along the whole span of the the length of the um, span the length yeah, yeah whatever the um of the viaduct it's quite an incredible thing to look at i've never seen anything like it in my life but that was great. I hope it comes out in the videos okay. But anyway, we're going to go off now and get us something cold to drink. We've had an ice cream, to be honest, but we're going, to get a, <laughs> we're going to get us something cold to drink. Lots of people about. It's probably one of the busiest places I've been to on a bank holiday. Um, but less than what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, a place like this, there was a, a triathlon going on when we arrived. Nine, 90, nine zero competitors taking part and there was one gentleman the eldest and evidently one of the the, the guys that's the, you know really for doing all this sort of thing he's 77 and has had two hip replacements and that is just amazing and he comes out on all these events so that should give everybody encouragement apart from <laughs> us on a day like today <laughs> Anyway, yeah. we'll catch you again on the next one. So this is Kevin and Cynthia saying bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.